So friends, this is another piece of the puzzle of Elvis going in the army. You see Elvis clearly right there in the front. Not the guy directly behind him, but the guy right behind him to the left. That is Rex Mansfield. We're fixing to watch a clip that I filmed with Rex at his home where he tells about being with Elvis. I thought I had him telling the story about Elvis dropping him off in the 55 limo. Unfortunately, I don't. But what happened was they had driven back from uh, Fort Hood in Texas and El after basic training, and Elvis dropped him off at this house on this day. That's Rex with the Army uniform on the right and Elvis clearly on the left. And we're going to show you where this stuff happened at. So stay tuned, friends. The reason that we're doing this is Rex right here, Rex Mansfield, he wrote a book about all this, about he was in the, he joined the army with Elvis. So if you watch the videos, you see the pictures, Rex is in those photographs and those videos. I didn't join, I was drafted. <laughs> That's a good point, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't ask you, they told you, right? Yeah, right? But you were there the day Elvis went in the army. And raised my hand with him. With him on the I same solemnly day. solemnly swears. And you went with him to basic training in the Fort Hood. Yep. You rode with him back to Memphis in well, his Cadillac and visited after Graceland training. after basic training and met Gladys. Yes. And Vernon yeah. at Graceland. Yes. Then you went to Germany with Elvis. You See, rode the troop ship with him. Well, the the tr the troop train first. Right. To New York. To uh, uh, to what's that? Harbor up there in New York. I can't think of it right I can't now. either, but it's in the New Brooklyn, York Harbor. Brooklyn Harbor. Brooklyn Harbor. Yeah. And then you rode the troop ship. The troop ship landing in uh, uh, Bremerhaven. And then we rode the train together from Bremerhaven to Friedberg. That's exactly right. We were all right. there together at the same time. And so you were in, you were at Ray Barracks, yep. just like Elvis. Absolutely. I was in Spearhead. So friends, this is the words of Rex Mansfield as told to me. When I came back from basic training in Fort Hood, Elvis invited myself and Norville to ride back with him in his Continental. That would have been the Mark II. I'll show you some photographs in a moment. I was able to call my parents on his car phone. This was 1958, and Elvis had a car phone. And as I say here, this car was a Lincoln Mark II Continental, which Elvis bought in 56 in Florida, and he loved this car. This car did not get sold until the late or mid 70s, I should say. Uh, I'm thinking off top of my head, 75, 76. I'll show you a photograph of Elvis with the car in the car. So this is Elvis leaning up against the car in Florida. And then this is a, a photograph of the actual car. Just a beautiful car. And he really, 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 really liked this car. But what's interesting is this was in Fort Hood. He drove this car back to Graceland, and then we'll take up the rest of the story. So my folks drove down, and when we arrived, there were 500 screaming fans at the gate. Vester was at the gate at the time. We went up to the house, and in 1958, to me, it was like an amazing apparition. It was so beautiful and so perfect. It was a special time for me because I was introduced to everybody, including his parents. So he got to meet Gladys, and I could see that there was a lot of love, especially for his mother. The big thing for me was that I got his undivided attention because Norville was already picked up by his wife. So then it was just Elvis and I, and instead of getting Lamar or Red or whoever to drive me over to my parents, he personally got into his Cadillac, which is that 55 limousine, and took his own time to drive me over to where they were staying, which is where his parents were that he picked up. And now we're going to go to the rest of the story. So friends, right here, you see this driveway right here. Now this gate was not here at the time, but something that was here was this house, 1958. And I'm gonna let Rex tell the story if I can find it. If I can't, I'm gonna illustrate the story. But right here, the car pulled up, the limousine right here, Elvis's limousine, you will see this in the background of this photo. So 
So there's the photo right there. And you can see, you see that part of the roof right there, which is unusual, and the other part. And there it is, right there and right there. Friends, I want you to look right there. There's Elvis's Cadillac sitting right here, his limo. And you see that right there. And there's a basketball goal. It's just a little more modern. But that is it right there. And they parked, so he parked right here, right, here. right across there. And so they stood, you can see the driveway widens. Now it looks like it was concrete back then. Did y'all tear the concrete up? The concrete and, is underneath the black. Oh, so you black topped over the concrete. Yeah, so it, done that later in the years. it looks like that, that the, um, it was a wide spot. So you can see that there's a wide spot right there. In fact, the car's at an angle, so they're kind of standing, they're standing like this, looking out that way. So that tree right there is this tree right here. Isn't that it? It was a big oak tree, and then there's a hickory tree. Yeah, you see that, you see that hickory tree right there? Isn't that it? That's it, that's the hickory That is that tree that right tree there. That tree right here? Yep. <laughs> so they were standing, basically Elvis was standing there when he was signing that autograph, Looking, you can see the road out there, and you can see that tree right there in the photograph. You see it? Mm -hmm. That is it. So the car was here, and they stood there, because that makes sense. The car would be here, and it would have them enough room to stand on the pavement. So they stood right here. And, of course, a lot of things change in 60 years. So this is what it looks like today. And that is what it looked like way back then. So in this photograph right here, right there, you could see the edge of that barbecue pit right there. You can actually see it. There's no pole there. So that telephone pole was added. It's not in the picture, is it? Nope. So that telephone pole was not there at the time. But they've changed a lot of stuff around here. Quentin Olds owned a large piece of land and at the time this was shot this was the only house on the land and uh, so the address has even changed but we're not going to divulge that all right so let's look at this you see in this picture you see those three things that look like they're sagging down so what is that looks like there was a rope or a chain or something and look there's three hooks there's one right there there's one right there there's one right there, and there's one right there. So there was a rope or something hanging up under the garage door. This, no doubt, friends, not maybe, this is the spot. This is the house. What's that? He said that the guy's wife is real short, so she would She may have had it to pull the garage door down. She did, because if she parked there, she would have something to reach to pull. Cool. She needed something to pull it down with. That's very cool. And now it's an electric door, so. So line is shot up now with that door open. That is awesome. All right, let me get it. Since it's open like it was now. So if you look, let's get it. I trying to figure out where it was exactly at. <laughs> let's get the angle. Well, somebody had the the fourth alt to have a good camera too. That was a great camera, wasn't it? You know, whoever it was, that's not normal camera stuff to just have at your house. They're right there. That is it, friends. That's a great, great photo from 1956. And the story was... So I dug all the bushes up and I moved them over there. Replanted them. And so the bush that he's them. talking about, friends, is that one so, right there. Yeah. And you could see the house. That was not closed in at the time. You can see it's open with glass. He actually closed that in and took the door that you see in the photo right in the middle. And that door is now on that house over there. So that happened right here. 60 years ago. And here we are 40 years ago, 41 years ago, tomorrow Elvis passed. So we came up here and surprised you today and told you that Elvis had been at your house. Have that you is, ever heard this before? I have never heard that. That is just, 
<laughs> I can't believe it. That's is totally that shocking? Awesome. Are you an Elvis fan? Yes. You I are. like Elvis. I love Elvis's songs. Really? Probably Blue Suede Shoes is the best. I love his Christmas carols. Yeah. And we play Christmas carols here all the time. And we just love that. So let me ask you this. Now that you know, is this something you're going to tell your friends? Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> I'm going to rock the world. I've got so many friends out there that Isn't are Elvis Isn't that fans. incredible? Elvis it's, was at your this house. This is awesome. But I want to tell you something now on a serious note for just a moment. I'm not trying to bring anybody down, but let's talk about this. When Elvis was standing here signing autographs, his mother was still alive. His world hadn't changed yet. He was, at that moment in time, he was probably one of the happiest periods of his life when he was at your house. That's, that's good to know. Yeah. yeah. One of the happiest periods of his life, he was at your house signing autographs for the lady in curlers, the little girl in curlers that lived in this house. That is so, cool. so thank you so much for showing us and allowing us to come oh, in and film. I love this. It, it'll mean a lot to the fans. How long after this night? Just months. Months after that, yeah. wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah, very short time after that. Yeah, yeah. That's so, cool. man, I appreciate it, I really do. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for filling me in and all the, yes, sir. the neat stuff. I mean, well, absolutely we love to go find these things, uh, the history. These things, you know, they seem so lost, but they're actually not lost, clearly, because we're looking at them. And uh, the... So these things that you would think would be, would be lost history are actually relived again. So there it is, friends. It was right there. We tightened up and found this house, thanks to Rex. So there you go. You and one more thing, uh, Trey is pointing out that there's a hook in the picture right here. I will zoom in, I'll show you a, a clear picture of it. And it is still there. <laughs> Right. Yeah, got a little more paint on it. A little more there. Right there. That is in the photograph. Originally, friends, the driveway went where you could see the grass right there. So they would have pulled in down there where that pole is and driven up right up in here. Park right there. Just done, uh... Lastly, we've got to see how far that house is from Grace Lab, 3764 Elvis Presley Boulevard. Go. And the answer is, I saw it a minute ago, 22 miles. I said 31 minutes. Arrival 754 and it is 722. So distance right there, 22 miles. So Elvis drove an extra 22 miles after driving back from Fort Hood, Texas to drop his friend Rex Mansfield off at this house, which was the home of his brother's wife's brother, Quentin Oles. So friends, unfortunately, Rex passed away on August the 26th, exactly two weeks after they spoke at Graceland on a Sunday morning. He passed away on a Sunday, two weeks later not long after these interviews, and I haven't put all the interviews out, but I will. And he wrote this book called Living the Moments, My Life with Elvis, Elizabeth, and Jesus. It's very interesting. I have autographed copies, and I will also come up with non-autographed copies because, of course, now that Rex has passed, there's not going to be any more autographed copies, so they're going to become rare. And But I have the autographed copies at this point and go to rexodus.com to purchase them. And you'll see, if you look down in the description part of this video, there will be a link there directly to the book on rexodus.com, which is one of my websites. Thank you so much for watching, and tighten up and get this book and learn more about this unknown time of Elvis's life. Mm -hmm.